So the by-elections, the Port Dixon by-elections is heating up with Anwar Ibrahim facing up against a seven-cornered fight, including his past assistant uh, Saifu Bukhari, which uh, for you, those of you who don't know is uh, basically the assistant that accused him of sodomy, but more specifically non-consensual sodomy. Why is the electorate not happy with Anwar's uh, approach? Well, here are the key points. You know, some feel that he's been too hasty in wanting to get back into parliament. Now, I would say that, you know, we, I believe that the electorate would love to see him back in parliament as soon as possible, at least towards the beginning of this new government. And. Another point is, you know, why not get his own family to leave the seat? There's this concern of a nepotism and how there's <clears throat> that Anwar did not use the proper channels to achieve consensus within the party. And one of the things that Siti Qasim, the lawyer and very vocal individual, uh, has put up is that, you know, if Anwar has no honesty towards his party, how can we trust him to be honest to the people? And really, I feel that this issue has been blown out of proportion. That when the electorate went into the voting booths in, in May, the electorate wanted to see Anwar as the eventual prime minister. And what are his options to get back into that line of becoming prime minister? It's either he, he gets uh, his, his own family members to vacate or to, to go into another constituency, which he's doing right now. And I feel that given the sensitivity of having women representation in parliament nowadays, maybe Anwar was balancing the, which would be the lesser of two evils or the, the better approach where you won't step on the too many toes. I believe that if Anwar took on the role of uh, having uh, one Aziza of, or Nuru Iza to vacate his, their seats in order for him to come in, then you would hear the feminist movement or people with their own agenda jumping on it saying that, hey, you know, what about female representation? Why should the wife, why should the daughter uh, step aside for, their, for Anwar? So I guess this, this is again a case of uh, Anwar being framed into a situation where he has to choose between the lesser of two evils. And, you know, this is more of a strategic approach that, you know, e either way he would face challenges. So what do you think about this by-election with Anwar, Saifu and the rest of the contestants? Do share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. To those of you on our podcast, please do the same as well. And thank you for listening.